What's up, YouTube? My name is the Lazy Tryhard, and today I'm going to be extending our uh, LibGDX tutorial series, uh, more specifically the UI section. So I have a couple tutorials on that. That's like episode 9.1, 2, 3, however long it goes. Uh, so today, what I thought I'd do is continue on that because I feel like user interface is kind of important. So what we're going to learn today is this thing called a table. Now, tables are used to format elements uh, in any way possible. So like if you're trying to do a kind of like a map or like a shop I don't know why a map anyway if you're trying to do like a shop like say um, my beautiful game right here just kidding it's it's alright uh, but if you're trying to do like a market and you want to have your elements formatted like this so where it's like item this amount or like the cost uh, the actual buy button uh, the amount it would cost to pay for each one uh, stuff like that so I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it so you can build super cool um, UI menus uh, stuff like that so let's get started right away so uh, we're gonna be in our tutorial series uh, just like we've been before so um, what we're gonna have to do first is create another screen because I like dealing with screens it kinda like separates the logic and whatnot so we're just gonna call this a table screen and <clears throat> we're gonna go down here and basically oh, I hate copy and paste but it's gonna work for this so copy and paste your physics button and uh, let me see um, is it add? Yeah, it adds it. Alright, awesome. So, copy and paste it. Change this to, what do we call it? Tables button. Right? Table button. Never, what? Table screen. Oh, da 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 da. Idiot. Why didn't any of you guys catch me on that? Gosh. I thought I could trust you guys. Uh, anyway, so, table button. So, change all these to table button and change that, change that, uh, don't change it to this screen, we'll change that in a sec. So, we're going to change this to tables, and we're going to have to set the position uh, to something else, <laughs> something worse than this, so X is the same, uh, we're going to do two times, maybe? I'm trying to remember the calculations. This menu is not looking good because, uh, oh, wrong one. Um, we were three, right? No, we weren't. Gosh, dang it! There we go. That's the one. Ew, gross. Okay, we'll correct that later. Honestly, I don't really want to deal with that right now. Oh gosh, no, that's gonna bother me. Um, let's move <coughs> the physics button up. So it'd be divided by two. That's that's good. Uh, no, let's get rid of that. So it is kind of like they're smushed together, but it works. Yay! Awesome. So now we have a table that doesn't do anything when we get to that screen. So we're gonna have to set this to a games dot set screen uh, dot new physics screen. But this is gonna be a tables screen, and it's gonna take in game. So we have to make that class and we can do it to create class uh, da, 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 interfaces yes yes and yes awesome so we're still are we gonna get that error did it make it for us yeah we're still gonna get that error because we have to make the constructor for the table screen to take in the game so game game uh, public table uh, game game and it's just gonna be this dot game equals game and we can initialize everything else. So, oh my gosh, I'm I'm losing it today. Table screen. That's how a constructor works, everybody. Gosh, I'm out of it today. I'm sorry. So, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to copy uh, this render code because I hate writing it out. Uh, so there. So now we we'll get a clear screen, and if we want to run it just to make sure it works, uh, we can change this to black and make sure that everything works so uh, click it it goes black wonderful so now that we know um, that this screen works so or at least it goes to it so to create a table you're gonna obviously want to create a stage and with that stage um, you're gonna obviously have to initialize that so we're gonna make a table table 
So we have these two elements, and we're obviously going to have to make a sprite batch uh, to, to uh, render the, this stage and import that as well. So when we go down here, uh, we can go to stage equals new stage, and <clears throat> this is just, we've done this before, dot get width, gdx dot graphics dot get height, and false. So what else do we have? We have the batch equals new sprite batch, and the table is the thing that you kind of have to deal with. So table equals new table, and it takes either a skin or you can just initialize it by itself. We're just going to initialize it by itself because we don't really have a skin for it. So if we do uh, stage dot <coughs> add actor actor not action, um, we should just do table. And we should also do table.debug. Because table.debug, we can kind of, we'll be able to see how the uh, logic is working when we like add stuff to it. Batch.begin and batch.end. So we can do stage. I don't need stage.draw. And let's see how that works so far. So if we do that. Uh, we get a white screen and nothing because we haven't really added anything to uh, the table. So we're going to obviously have to do that. So if we want to kind of create, some, we may need to create some parameters for this thing. So um, what you're going to want to do is the following table dot set bounds. And you're going to have to set it to, I'm just going to set it to, let's see what I did here, gdx.graphics.com get width divided by 48. Now, that's kind of weird, but basically um, it sets the X, so it's got, we have a little padding around. You don't want to make uh, the table, like, extend the entire thing or else it will look kind of kind of funky. So, um, as a Y, we don't really care because that can go as far as we need to. And, uh, let's see, what else does it take? Okay, it takes the following. Now, bear with me here. So, gdx.graphics.getWidth minus gdx.graphics.getWidth uh, divided by 24. Now, this is just kind of creating a good padding for us, and that's supposed to be that going. That's supposed to be a minus sign. It's just creating a padding for us so that um, once we're kind of finished with everything, um, the table will kind of look nice. And we won't, it won't like be touching any of the boundaries. And then finally, uh, gdx.graphics.getHeight. Because it can go as high and low as we want it to. Uh, we don't really have uh, any preference with that. And if we do that, nothing really changes. So we're going to want to obviously kind of do this a bunch of times. So let me check really quick. Um, we have to first, obviously, uh, we kind of, we've, I've been over this before, but you have to set the input processor, uh, gdx.input.set input processor to stage. And you have to do the stage.act as well. Uh, you're going to do table, you're going to, and notice the capital T, we're calling it to the class. And you see this draw debug method? Well, we want to do that, and we want to set it to the stage. So now, after everything, we should see, you kind of see like this, uh, this blue line that's kind of around everything. That's the bounds of the table. So now that we have our table, we can kind of start setting everything up. So um, I'm not too worried about everything um, kind of freaking out. But uh, this is basically what we're going to do. You can literally add anything you could possibly want to a table. Um, anything that's done with the UI, uh, you can add it. So... If we wanted to do table.add, and you see actor, and it it's going to put it in a cell. So um, actor, we kind of know, is like a label, a button, a table. You could literally anything. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add as a bunch of things. So uh, you will initialize a new, let's initialize a new label. Let's just call it uh, title. And we have to give it a label style as well, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but um, we can 
do we make this a public static? Uh, just, I don't think we did. Oh well, all right, we're gonna make a new label style, I guess. Let me check. I'm almost positive button style. Okay, so do we have a label style? We don't have a label style. All right, well, we're gonna make a label style. So, uh, label style, label equals new label style. Uh, for all intents and purposes, we're gonna make the uh, we're gonna go to the main menu, and you see this label style. Since we've already made it, we're just gonna make it a public static variable so that we can call it uh, within the table screen method, and uh, we don't have to worry about doing making another label style because that's just kind of tedious so main menu dot style so if we do that uh, we should see this cute little title right here and it goes directly in the middle and it looks beautiful but we're just like what the heck what what's up with this red line and stuff like that well it kind of going off of I think it's called HTML um, I think it's the HTML style but like basically uh, you added a bunch of things uh, and it kind of it does its own column system. You're really just gonna have to work your way through it to figure it out, because it's kind of it's kind of awkward um, if you don't really work with it a little bit, because you don't know how it's gonna run. I literally, when I was developing um, my game, it took me forever to figure out uh, this stuff until you worked with it. So you can follow my tutorials all you want, but I really re highly recommend it that you like work on this yourself uh, and just figure out all the quirks and things about it we're just going to continue on but I'm going to show you like tell you guys that's the best way to learn so uh, we're also going to add this thing called table dot row now this sets the row so we can't add any more uh, things to the row so that it progresses to the next one so if we did this a bunch of times uh, they would go on the same row and it wouldn't progress downward at all. So if we do a uh, table row down here, uh, you'll see that um, it goes down. But we also have this kind of extra one. Well, that's that's the whole thing with tables. You have to continue to so like if you have like a uh, okay. So we have a title right here. Uh, if we do table dot row, and uh, that'll look kind of I th you got again you got to check how this is going to work. Uh, it'll be kind of weird because if you check it out, like the title is on the left side. So, if you want, one of the really cool tricks about all this is you can do t dot, or you can do the following: uh, table dot add whatever you're going to add and do col span. And this is the amount of it, columns that you want to span or you want it to take up. So if you do that, it'll take up these two columns and it'll still have some room. You'll see these green lines, that just means that it has some extra room if you want to add something to it. So now that we have this brilliant title, we can start adding things to it. So like say we wanted the to like a shop. You can do like the item, uh, you can do the price, and you can do let's say uh, you want to actually like pay for it. So you do like a buy kind of kind of oh gosh. You do like a buy question mark so if we do that uh, you can check uh, check it out item price buy but say you want to like kind of give yourself a little room to grow uh, and a little room to kind of breathe in some of these you do this there's a couple of integers that do this or a couple of fun functions that do this if you want to uh, spread it out a little bit do the expand X because that'll expand uh, across the X axis so that It'll basically take up as much room as it can take up. So item will take up like all this space, and title. Will, and now that we've added another row, we need to change this to three for it to be in the center. But if you do that to all of them, uh, you'll get a nice evenly spaced out uh, table that'll look absolutely beautiful. So if you do that, uh, you have a title, an item, a price, and a buy. So that'll look absolutely awesome. So if we want to do an item, we'll just say like a sword. You want to buy a sword? Awesome. So item corresponds with sword. The price, we're going to say 50 bucks. And you're going to have to now add a buy button. So do do that, you're actually going to have to make a new button. Uh, and you don't want to do that within the me within this line of code because that'll be way too tedious. Uh, so you're going to do like a buy button equals new text button, and it's going to say 
by question mark uh, and then you're gonna do the button style which we're also gonna have to make public static within the main men within the main menu uh, class so we gotta find it it's right there public static and I don't recommend making a lot of variables public static it's just not something you want to do um, but for this purpose these purposes and we're not really releasing this as an app or anything like that then we should be fine so you're gonna have to obviously make a text button dang come on, text button uh, by button so you're gonna import that and we should be free here and that should have a semicolon I don't know why it didn't so um, now we can add this uh, by button in here and if we do that I think it, yeah it'll work it's kinda awkward obviously so that's why you're gonna have to do uh, the following you're gonna have to either set the buttons parameters which I'm gonna do right now because that's a lot easier dot set size yeah okay and we're just gonna set it to and you don't want to normally do um, like constants because you don't account for the other people's like things and if we do that or other people's screens I'm sorry if we do that literally nothing changes and we're like what the heck why not well it's because table.add adds the uh, the button itself it doesn't add the like parameters so if you wanted to do you can do it two ways if you wanted to do table.add you'd also have to do dot um, dot set I think uh, set widget width and height and we're not going to do that so we're going to do add actor because uh, if we do that then um, we should get it where it'll work it'll size it to what we want it to be but at the same time it won't put it in this uh, this table which we kind of you know kind of want to do so what you're going to want to do is the following state want to do what we did before um, where we didn't add an actor but we added and you want to do there is a method it's not set widget height it's dot size and you can set the uh, values so if we do 150 uh, that should again fingers crossed but it should set it to uh, what we want it to now you can see we get all these green lines because the buy button takes up more than um, these two items need but basically now if we want to buy something if we want to buy a sword for 50 bucks we can do that and you can do that forever like if you want to do table dot row from now it's kinda easy because we can uh, copy paste cop paste and paste so if we want like a mace if we want a uh, I don't know shield and you can change the price to like 150 bucks and 250 bucks and you're obviously gonna have to change the listener um, on these buy buttons but uh, for right now I think it, we don't really have to do that because if we do that it's just only gonna do it once and uh, and don't worry about it but you are basically gonna have to make uh, buy button one and buy button two because it'll only and it'll put it in the very last column it's not gonna make copies of it it's gonna uh, just replace it so if we do that uh, gosh dang it paste paste one and paste two and this is um, I think the best way to do it just because makes it a little easier on everybody so you're gonna copy and paste this as well and you can put this in a for loop or you can do it like that um, for our purposes right now I'm just gonna keep it like this so now uh, we have three buy buttons so that's kind of just like making a uh, cute little marketplace widget very quickly uh, you obviously have to you know make it you have to add listeners and you know apply it to whatever you're doing but uh, for the most part, that's the easiest way to explain it. So if you like this tutorial, please uh, subscribe, rate, comment, do all that fun stuff. If you have problems, I'd love to help you guys. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial helped. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next episode.